Anyway, so let's just settle into our meditation posture and just bring, uh, try and bring your body to the same place. Sorry, bring your mind to the same place your body is. And just before we start, actually, Alexis, do you have a waiting room set up? Yes, I do. Okay, good. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, no worries. <laughs> um, and so today is the winter solstice, so the longest day of the year. And also for some, some different um, religious and cultural groups all over the world, it has different kinds of specific meanings, but it is meaningful, the shortest day, the darkest day. And then we start to move towards lighter lighter days so analogy moving towards the light so one of the things that we can think of and we'll also think of this again in new year's eve or new year's day oh actually you know the friday before is think about what it is you would like to bring in bring with you into the new year and what no longer serves you so what would you be willing to let go of and leave behind is it a habit it could possibly be a thing or a, a ritual or anyway what it, whatever it is that's no longer serving you and what is it that you would like to open your heart to and bring with you or what would you like to create what are your hopes for 2023. So just keep that in mind. Check your body posture, lengthen your spine. Check your head slightly tip forward. And bring your mind to the crown of the head and just relax the scalp, the forehead, the eyes, the nose, the cheeks, and the jaw, back of the head. Back of the neck, your shoulders, allow the shoulder blades to drop down. Relax your throat and chest and belly and your limbs, hands, fingers and feet and toes and bring the mind to the breath. Just noticing the sensation of the air as you're inhaling and exhaling. And just notice what's going on in your environment in terms of sound. Try not to um, go off and investigate the sound. You can be aware that it's there and then just very gently return your focus back to the breath. And then just notice what's arising in the mind. And try not to judge your thoughts or have opinions or be critical. Just allow them to be there. You can take a step back, observing much like a, a scientific observer with a little bit of detachment without engagement. And we're sitting on the bank of our river, watching that river flow by. And while we're not in the river, we're free from the river. So bring to mind all the people of your life, so your loved ones, people that we, I mean, we truly love. Sometimes we forget and we just drop our guard. We get impatient. It's really good for these people that are so important in our life to not take them for granted. So it does happen that people walk out the door and they don't come back. It's always good to keep that in mind. Remind the people that you love, that you love them. Let them know. Keep them close to your heart. Then there's those people in our life that we, oh, we like to push them away a little bit. And then there's those people who are just total strangers and we don't really care either way. 
it's also good to remember that these three groups of people could possibly change place at any time and they may have done so in your life or even in the time that we've been doing these meditations leading these meditations so i think try and think in a, a bit more of a with a little bit more equanimity towards generally everyone particularly those who don't really like so we can think, gosh, actually they're the same as me because they don't want to be unhappy. They want to be happy. And they, they probably have a, a mother or a brother or a son or a daughter somewhere that absolutely adores them. So maybe that idea that I have that they're not very nice or that they're irritating, maybe that just applies to me, which means they're not inherently that way. So bring all these people to mind, think we'll do this Vajrasattva practice tonight for the benefit of all these people in our life and by extension all sentient beings and particularly keeping in mind those people who are unhoused, who are cold, maybe frightened, maybe completely out of their brains, maybe sad and lonely, rejected and try and send them some light and some love and some warmth from your heart. So remember, there is no negativity that cannot be purified. So this purification process is basically a psychological one. We create negativity with our mind, so we can change that by creating positivity with our mind instead. So first of all, with this practice, we start with the four opponent powers, or we do the four opponent powers in the context of Vajrasattva. So we start with regret. So sincerely regret from the depths of your heart anything you have done to harm any living being on this day, in this life, and in all past lives, and think of specific actions of both your body and your speech, and then in general regret all. And this reason to regret is based on this logic of karma. We experience everything due to our past karma, our past actions. So having harmed others, we ourselves will necessarily experience suffering in the future and we don't really want any more suffering we've had enough maybe already in our lives so logically it would make sense that we pull out those karmic seeds before they ripen uh, in future suffering for us so think like this i regret from the depths of my heart having harmed others with my body and my speech having broken my vows because i do not want the future suffering i'm sick of suffering so also regret any anger and attachment are delusions, basically, and the rest that are the cause of why we harm others and think again, I'm sick of this suffering. And then think, so what can I do about it? Whom can I turn to? So we take refuge. We start taking refuge. We turn to, we rely upon Vajrasattva, the Buddha, who we see as a doctor rather than a higher power who's going to fix everything or who we want to forgive us. So it's not like that. So imagine Vajrasattva above the crown of your head. You can also imagine this is your teacher, your guru, your trusted mentor, or spiritual mentor, however you see them, manifesting in this form for your benefit. And he's made of radiant, blissful white light, sitting cross-legged on a white lotus and a moon cushion. And this lotus, although born out of mud, is untainted by that mud, just like our enlightened potential, born out of our delusions, but yet untainted by them. He has this radiant, beautiful face. His eyes are long, shaped like lotus petals and peaceful and full of love and compassion for you and all those people of your life. He has a sweet red mouth. His hair is black and held up in a top knot. His arms are crossed at his heart, the left underneath the right. The left is holding a bell representing wisdom. The right is holding a vajra, which represents the indestructibility of compassion their being crossed represents a union of these two, which symbolizes enlightenment itself, the development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. To the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened. By this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva, may I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So in order to develop compassion, this is another part of reliance, we need to rely upon other beings. 
So think of maybe somebody you've harmed and then think of someone who's harmed you and think particularly for these people, develop a wish for them to be free from suffering because the harm they've caused you is going to create suffering for them in the future. Maybe not this type, lifetime, maybe next, maybe unexpectedly, maybe inconveniently. So you have compassion for them because of that. And make a strong aspiration that we do this practice of purification for the sake of all these sentient beings and think I must purify for their sake. So next we come to the power of the remedy, and this is the actual medicine, doing the practice of purification. And we start with the body. And Bhadrasattva very compassionately sends powerful nectar, like from his heart, like coming out of a shower or a waterfall or a hose, quite forcefully, and pours into you through the crown of your head, fills you completely, and it keeps pouring into you until it forces out of your lower orifices all the harm you've ever done to anyone with your body in the form of inky black liquid and it just kind of disappears into space not one item left in some of the texts um, if you want to get really into detail they they talk about scorpions and snakes and all this kind of stuff that's a little bit hard to visualize so just for now just thick black yucky oily liquid it's fine and as we recite the mantra Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dita Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anaracta Meboa Sawa Siddhi Mepi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutta Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata Ahom Pe Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dita Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anaracta meboa, sawa siddhi, mempi yatsa sawa, kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum, ha 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 ho, bhagavan, sawa tata gata, vajra mutsa, vajra bawa, maha samaya, sattva a hum pe, vajra sapa samaya, manupalaya, vajra sapa dina patita, dida meboa, sutrakaya meboa, supokaya meboa, Anaracta meboa, sawa siddhi, mempi yatsa sawa, kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum, ha 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 ho, bhagavan, sawa tata gata, vajrama me mutsa, vajra bawa, maha samaya, sattva a hum pe, ambhaja sapa samaya, manupalaya, vajra sapa dina patita, tida meboa, sutokaya meboa, supokaya meboa, Anarakta meboa, sava siddhi, mempi yatsa sava, kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum, ha 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 ho, bhagavan, sava tata gata, vajrama me mutsa, vajrabawa, maha samaya, sattva a hum pe, ambhaja sapa samaya, manupalaya, vajra sapa dina patita, dida meboa, sutokaya meboa, supokaya meboa, Anarakta meboa, sava siddhi, mempi yatsa sava, kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum, ha 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 ho, bhagavan, sava tata Gata Vajrama me mutsa Vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe Vajra sapa samaya manupalaya Vajra sapa dina patita Dida me boa sutokaya me boa supokaya me boa Anarakta me boa sava siddhi me bi yatsa sava kama sita me Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagavan Sava tata gata Vajrama me mutsa Vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe Vajra sapa samaya manupalaya Vajra sapa dina Patita, Dida Mibawa, Sutokaya Mibawa, Supokaya Mibawa, Anarakta Mibawa, Sawa Sidi, Mimpi Yatsa Sawa, Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum, Ha 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 Ho, Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata, Vajama, Mutsa Vajabawa, Maha Samaya Satva, Ah, Hum Pe. So be delighted that all the harm you have ever done to any sentient being with your body is now completely purified and think there's no way you could do anything but benefit others now with your body. And so next is a purification of speech. And Vajrasattva now very happily sends powerful nectar from his heart chakra and it arcs around and, and forcefully enters your crown, filling your entire body. Except this time forcing up to the top of your body all the negativity of your speech and this kind of overflows and disappears into space not one atom left. So you can imagine that all your gossip and harsh speech and useless speech and lying and talking badly about others behind their backs, getting other people to agree with you, all of this is purified 
by this powerful nectar filling you as you recite the mantra. Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dita Mibawa Sutokaya Mibawa Sipokaya Mibawa Anarakta Mibawa Sawa Siddhi Mibiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Guru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Aham Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dita Mibawa Sutokaya Mibawa Sipokaya Mibawa Anarakta mebowa sawa sidi mebi yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mami mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe um vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dita mebowa sutokaya mebowa sipokaya mebowa Anarakta mebowa sawa sidi mebi yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mami mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe um vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dina mebowa sutokaya mebowa sipokaya mebowa Anarakta mebowa sawa sidi mebi yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha ha ho bhagawan Sawa tata gata vajra mami mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Um vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita. Dita me bawa sutokaya me bawa sipokaya me bawa. Anarakta me bawa sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajra mami mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Madra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dita Mibawa Sutokaya Mibawa Sipokaya Mibawa Anarakta Mibawa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dita Mibawa Sutokaya Mibawa Sipokaya Mibawa Anarakta mebowa sawa sidi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. So again, feel so happy that your speech is now completely purified and imagine it's not possible to do anything other than benefit others with your speech. So you can imagine that every time somebody hears your voice, it benefits their mind. And it benefits your mind as well because you're hearing it also. So next is the purification of the mind. And Vajrasattva now very compassionately sends powerful beams of light from his heart chakra and this arcs around and enters your crown and fills your entire being. So it's just the same as when you walk into a pitch black room and you switch on a light. That uh, light instantly dispels the darkness in the room. So it's the same here. The moment the light from Vajrasattva's heart hits your heart chakra. All the darkness of the negativity, negativity of your mind. So all your attachment and depression and anxiety and grasping and neediness and wanting things and not feeling enough and bitterness and grudges and jealousy, all this kind of junk that's kind of swirling around on our mind on a daily basis in a conscious and an unconscious level. So imagine all of this is instantly dispelled as you recite the mantra. Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Sipokaya Mebowa Anarakta Mebowa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dina Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Sipokaya Mebowa Anarakta Mebowa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Sipokaya Mebowa 
and a recta me boa sava sidi me piata sava kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago and sava tata gata baja mame mutta baja bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe um baja sapa samaya manupalaya baja sapa dina patita tida me boa sutokaya me boa sipokaya me boa and a recta me boa sava sidi me piata sava kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago and Sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita. Tira me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa. Anarakta me bawa sava sidi me piyatsa sava kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita. Tira me bawa sutokaya me bawa sipokaya me bawa Anarakta me bawa sava sidi me piyatsa sava kama sita me Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan Sava tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe Vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita Tira me bawa sutokaya me bawa sipokaya me bawa Anarakta me bawa sava sidi me piyatsa sava kama sita me Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan Sava tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. So again, be delighted that all your delusions, for all of us, all our delusions, these are the source of our own suffering and the cause of why we harm others with our body and our speech. So just imagine they're completely purified, gone. And now think there's no space in your heart for anything other than love and compassion and wisdom and bliss and kindness. So next is a purification of the imprints of negativity of your body, speech, and mind. So you can imagine that light and nectar pours into you and fills you completely and instantly eradicates just even the subtlest, most subtle imprints of negative energy from your mind as we recite the mantra. Om Bhadra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Bhadra Sapa Dina Patita Tira Me Bawa Sutokaya Me Bawa Supokaya Me Bawa Anarakta Me Bawa Sawa Siddhi Me Piyatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shreyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Matsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Om Bhadra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Bhadra Sapa Dina Patita Tira Me Bawa Sutokaya Me Bawa Supokaya Me Bawa Anarakta me bawa sava sidi me piyatsa sava kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sava tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita tira me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa Anarakta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita tira me bawa sutokaya me bawa sipokaya me bawa Anarakta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame me mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita tira me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa Anarakta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita tira me bawa sutokaya me bawa sipokaya me bawa Anarakta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita tira me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa Anarakta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Now feel completely purified. 
not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream. Even the subtlest obscurations to omniscience have, or omniscience, your enlightenment, same thing, have been removed. So next is the power of resolve, and this is where we can, we're getting close to that New Year's resolution time. But maybe you think of something that's doable for you and give yourself a, a doable timeline. So maybe it's a very humble thing. Like I, I will not gossip about anyone while I'm asleep overnight because it's just very easy. You won't break that promise to yourself because you will be asleep. Or try and catch yourself if you have a habit to engage in sort of negative self-talk. And if you're doing it, just catch yourself. Or would you talk to a child that way? Or your best friend? Probably wouldn't. So if you do find yourself engaging in negative self-talk, maybe put a stop to that. And this determination to not do again, to refrain from, is what gives us the strength to change. So Vajrasattva is delighted with us and wanting to merge with your mind melts into white light and absorbs into you through your crown and think my guru's body, speech and mind and Vajrasattva's body, speech and mind, and my own body, speech and mind are the same thing. So next Rinpoche recommends to meditate on the emptiness of the three circles and emptiness there is no I, the creator of negative karma, there is no action of creating negative karma and there is no negative karma created. So at whatever level you understand this teaching on emptiness, just place your mind there for a moment. So you can think perhaps that all phenomena are empty of existing from their own side. They don't exist in the way necessarily we see them or the way we think they do. That tree, that dog, that post, that street, that bird. So let's just dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy you've created doing this purification to all living beings, and particularly to our homeless folk right now. It's probably a particularly lonely time for them. And think, may all the virtuous karma I've created from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible. For His Holiness the Dalai Lama, the wish-granting, wish-fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world, to the incomparably kind Tenzin Gyatso, I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. And for Lama Supreme Bishé. Chog sum gur wei leg mon tu drub. A dog sol du je on du jab ten shog. Lama Ursul, Venerable One, to you whose kindness exceeds out of all the conquerors for those wanderers in far off places, especially the West. Mindful of your loving concern for us in intentionally descending again into a family of a far distant land, we make this request, O Lama, please, please live long. The Geshe share a beloved teacher leading your students toward wisdom and compassion, explaining through exacting discernment the steps of the graduated path. You are the unequal guide. Please live a long and stable life. Okay, everybody, lots of love. Sleep well. I will see some of you tomorrow night. And thank you, Judith, for joining us. I haven't seen you here before, I don't think. Um, oh, there you are, gone again. Okay, and particularly a very big thanks to you East Coast people and even to you Mid Coast people who it is um, also quite late. Anyway, <laughs> to love everybody. Sleep well, take care, have good thoughts, and I will see you tomorrow evening. Thanks for hosting, Alexis.